Tesla Cybertruck, What's Going Wrong? The renewable commentary of the day. Have you heard about the recent issues with Tesla's Cybertruck? It seems that even the giants of the automotive industry can run into some speed bumps. The saga began when the first reports of trouble with the Cybertruck's accelerator pedal started to surface in recent weeks. Tesla, in its meticulous approach, paused deliveries of the truck while they investigated the issue. Elon Musk, the Elmo Food CEO of Tesla, indicated that the company was being very cautious in its response to the problem. This recall comes after Elmo announced the layoffs of more than 14,000 people just two weeks after Tesla reported its first year-over-year -year drop in sales in three years amid a wider cooling of demand for EVs. The accelerator pedal issue was first brought to Tesla's attention by a customer on March 31st. A second report came just a few days later on April 3rd. Tesla, always thorough in its approach, conducted a series of tests to understand the root of the problem. It was determined that an unapproved change had introduced a lubricant soap to aid in the component assembly of the pad onto the accelerator pedal. This soap, however, reduced the retention of the pad to the pedal. On April 12th, Tesla made the decision to recall all 3,878 Cybertrucks that had been shipped to date. This decision was not made lightly as there were no known crashes or injuries related to this issue. However, Tesla's commitment to safety and customer satisfaction led them to take this precautionary measure. But Elmo still wants his massive compensation package that was struck down by a judge earlier this year. But hey, Tesla has now confirmed that the pedal can dislodge, which can lead to it sliding up and getting caught in the trim around the footwell. To address this issue, the company has vowed to replace or rework the accelerator pedal on all existing Cybertrucks. It has also started building Cybertrucks with a new accelerator pedal and is fixing any vehicles that are in transit or sitting at delivery centers. This isn't the first time the Cybertruck has had to be recalled, despite only starting to ship late last year. Earlier this year, Tesla recalled the software on all of its vehicles because the font sizes of its warning lights were too small. In summary, Tesla has been faced with a challenge with their Cybertruck's accelerator pedal, which led to a recall of all their Cybertrucks. The issue was first reported in late March, leading to a series of tests and ultimately the recall decision in mid-April. Despite no known injuries or crashes related to this issue, Tesla has taken a proactive approach to ensure the safety of their customers. Moving forward, all Cybertrucks will be fitted with a new accelerator pedal and existing models will have theirs replaced or reworked. As for the Cybertrucks in transit or at delivery centers, they too will see this fix before reaching their owners. And don't forget, we have a surprise for you. Yay, surprise. Hey out there, we would like to give away one of these coffee cups or a Go Green Hub water bottle. Anyway, we're gonna give away one, so let us know if you're interested, give us a comment, and we will draw for one free coffee cup or Go Green Hub water bottle. Yes, the Go Green Hub is the go-to source for all things of sustainable energy and transportation.